Road wins by the Giants and Washington effectively end the Cowboys' chances of winning the NFC East. I believe it did, Skip. But for the simple fact is that I did not see a scenario in which any team two weeks ago, three weeks ago, could win three games in a row, let alone the Giants have won four in a row and Washington won three in a row. And when you look at it, I had to come out here for the last two and a half weeks in here. Of all the teams in the NFC East, the Dallas Cowboys had the most impressive road win outside of the division. True. They beat Minnesota. True. So what, what, what are we going to say about Washington football team yesterday and the Giants on Sunday? Better. Better, better. better. Yep. So they, and it proves to me they're better than you are. Mm. Skip, look. If you just look at these two teams, played yesterday, one played yesterday, the other played on Sunday, they're better. There's a gap between Washington and the Giants and the Eagles and the Cowboys. Two teams are on the ascent and the other two teams are on the descent. It's as simple as that, Skip. It's as simple as that. I wish I could give it to you any other way, but I can't. And for Colt McCoy to go on the road and beat Seattle in Seattle, that was very impressive. But check down Alex to go into Pittsburgh 11 now. I think we all thought Pittsburgh was a very flawed 11 0 team. They can't run the football and they throw a lot of short passes. And what happened was Sweat did the same thing to Big Ben, what he got Andy Dalton with. Got his hands up, intercepted it. Well, he let, it led to deflection that basically sealed the game. Yep. Skip, look, you guys, you have a you have a problem scoring the football. In the last six, you lost five of your last six, and you've only reached 20 points in one of those games. Well, your defense is not good enough for your offense to be so negligent in scoring department that your defense is going to shut people down where you don't get but 18, 19, but your defense is going to hold them to 14, 15. Mm. That's not going to happen. So basically, what the Ravens will do for you tonight is end your season. So, and I'll be happy about that because mm. I would love to know the fact that you know you still got three more games to play, but you just be playing just to play. Mm. That's what I love. Mm. I love that. And you're going to be getting them garbage bags. I'm going to make sure I come out here next uh, Monday because you're going to lose that game also with my hefty bag because it'd be about time for you to clean out your locker. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> so, I will admit to you <laughs> that going into Sunday, I you had real high, good. <laughs> high hopes for you my did. team. The Ravens are in disarray. The Ravens are about to get Lamar back and Calais Campbell back. Two big additions. Yep. Got it. But the Ravens have struggled, especially with Lamar in big home games. And this loomed as a pretty big home game for them to get back on track. So I would actually rather play Baltimore there than at Jerry World. So, again, I'm thinking, okay, maybe. And I thought... It was possible that Cam Irving and Zach Martin might actually be back. Dude. Neither happened. Zach's okay? on the arm. Zach is gone for the year, which I did not understand. I thought he had a calf pull, but I thought with that time off that they had, where it got pushed all the way back to a Tuesday, mm -hmm. maybe from Thursday all the way through yes. back to Tuesday, Almost maybe two weeks. In, maybe enough time to rehab it and get it right. Gone. It's got to be really bad. Because even with that two weeks, they're going to put him on IR, so that's a minimum of another really, three weeks. Really, really bad. Correct. Okay, so I will admit it crushed my soul to watch Colt McCoy beat Russell Wilson at Seattle. It's impossible, and it happened as a 10-point, 10-point, 5-point underdog. Yep. It crushed my soul even worse last night to watch check down Alex beat 11-0 Big Ben Roethlisberger in his house. What you couldn't do. How could you do that? By the way, we, with Garrett <laughs> Gilbert at quarterback, had been on the ropes no, at Jerry. Well, yes, we did. Had him on the ropes, and the referee said, no, not no, today. No, no, don't do that, Skill. Don't we do that. We had to beat two teams, and we could only beat one. I, I can't believe you went to the, you went to the no, referees. No, but I, I did, because that was the truth <laughs> in that game. So I will admit we are up against it tonight. Would I be shocked if we won? I would not be shocked. But all I of a sudden, we have to win just to stay a game behind obviously now in New York and Washington. So a division that I was dead set sure would be Philly versus Dallas, Dallas versus Philly. Now it looks like it's the, the Giants team. against the football team. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I hang on to this hope. Dallas's schedule, just based on one loss records of remaining opponents, is still the second easiest in the league. Meanwhile, Washington has moved all the way up to eighth easiest, so you might argue they now have a leg up. 
and the Eagles are 18th, but the Giants are way down at 21st easiest, and you start getting into hardest. I right. think it's the what would be the 11th hardest. Right. Okay. So the Giants still have Arizona at home, but Arizona is suddenly struggling. Yeah, just yeah. when I thought after the miracle that that Kyrie Hale. made, I mean Kyrie that uh, Kyler, Kyler made, that I thought Hale that Murray. the Hale Murray, I, I thought that would propel them into play, you know, an obvious playoff spot. But, right. but now they are struggling. Cleveland, they got to play at home, the Giants mm -hmm. do. Then they go to Lamar at Baltimore, and then they finish, obviously, with Cowboys at New York. And I was always circling that game as, wow, that could be for the division, right? Yeah. So Dallas has this remaining. At Baltimore, then at Cincinnati, Lovely. which I always circled as, okay, we can certainly win that game. Then San Francisco was hit and miss last night. The quarterback just isn't very good. I don't even think their real starting quarterback is that right. good, but they have to come on a Sunday night to Jerry World. Or not at the beach, y'all. Uh, I don't you, you could be right, depending on what happens tonight. But then Philly comes to, to Dallas and then at New York. Okay, so the point is, I was so excited until I see the headline yesterday, Zach Martin is out for the year. They crystallized. They, they actually took off when Zach Martin, as you recall, the best guard in football, was moved to right tackle. Yep. And, and that happened right on schedule at Minnesota. And all of a sudden, Zeke came back to life. And all of a sudden, wait a second, Andy Dalton looks like a pretty good starting quarterback. Okay. And yet, what happened in the opening drive against the Washington football team on Thanksgiving, Zach goes out. Well, it actually went the other way. Cam order. Irving, Cam went, Irving went out with the knee, and he's still out and gone. And Zach's out. That means tonight at Baltimore, I'm back to what I've had about two-thirds of this year. I have two undrafted kids at my bookend tackles. Two kids. I got a rookie undrafted out of Texas Tech, and I have a second year undrafted out of Indiana. They, they probably shouldn't even be on rosters, but they have to hang in there and fight and scratch and claw. I don't remember you making this kind of concession speech for walking to him mm -hmm. when his offensive line was in shambles. He didn't have two undrafted at his tackles. He did not have two undrafted. Look what these guys skip. I know, but but it's, it's better than what I got skip. left. The, they had seven. They had twenty-seven pass attempts and got sacked seven times. Okay, and twenty-seven pass okay, attempts. Okay, but but think of what I've lost this year. Think of what could have been. Yeah, I, I lost a Pro Bowl center and a Pro Bowl left tackle, and a Pro Bowl right tackle, and the best offensive guard in football. I lost them all. Yeah. You know, a perennial Pro yeah. Bowler, right? Yeah. And, and you, you can't lose all of them and say you have hope and a chance. What? You still got C.D. Lamb. You still yeah. got all those, those and skills. And by the way, you... thank you for bringing up C.D. Lamb. Do you realize, even with the two undrafteds at the bookend tackles, do you realize against the Washington football team on Thanksgiving, Andy Dalton hit C.D. Lamb right there in the end zone, right in the hands. Worst place you can hit a man. Hit him in the hands, and he dropped it, and he is not a ball dropper. Never was in college at Oklahoma. I watched every game he played, every, every snap. He dropped it, and guess what? If he had caught it, they would have gone to the fourth quarter tied with Washington. Mm -hmm. You know what the final score was? 41 to 16. Yeah. They lost the fourth quarter 21 to nothing because once he dropped the ball, they dropped all hope. They just, you could see the whole team say, that's what, it, what, we're done. Why you, why you say that's it, you're done? Mm -hmm. But so, I, I, you help me understand this, Skip. You just, Dallas got the second easiest schedule in, in, in the NFL this mm -hmm. year. Yep, why, Re remaining. Remaining. Yes. Why are you so convinced they can go on this win streak when they've only won well, one I in a said, row? Like I I needed Zach Martin to go on it. So now am I skeptical? Yeah, I am. Am I going to hang in? But but I'm, I'm fighting my better judgment because you know what my better judgment says? Just root against them. You know, root for an 0-5 an finish because maybe there's a Trevor Lawrence in our future. Guess what? You might get that anyway, whether you root or not. You can root for him, and you're probably, at best case scenario, mm. going to be 2-3. and three. Mm. Well, look at, look at my defense. <laughs> Just when Trevon Diggs seemed like he was the catalyst to my defense, he's lost. Whoa, 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 Skip. Why are you making all these excuses? Because they're legit. They're no, valid. So, so, so. Walk it to him playing without Alshon Jeffrey, ha playing without D-Jack, Zach Ertz, Dallas Garter, Lane Johnson, uh, 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 Barrett Brooks. So is, is that valid? What, what was the first thing you said in that sentence? You said walk it to him. He's actually give it to no, him. No, well, yeah. But, okay. So is that an excuse? Okay. Uh, I don't have Dak Prescott. I lost him. 
I lost him early. You, you've had wins for better and for Skip. worse. We saw Did what, you lose Skip. Carson Wentz? We no. Saw, we saw what Dak looked like mm -hmm. when Zeke was out and Tyron Smith was out. You remember what Zach look, Dak looked mm -hmm. like? They had to trade trade up to a, what, a first and a third or mm -hmm. two ones to go get Amari Cooper mm -hmm. when he didn't have a number one? Mm -hmm. You remember what Dak looked like? Let's mm -hmm. not pretend 2017 didn't happen. Okay, but you're the guy who says he deserves $42 million a year. The, 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 we, we, hey, all I'm, hold on. All I'm saying is, is that you're making excuses for your Cowboys that you will refuse to allow any other team to make. So let's not, hey. My excuses are more valid than no, your excuses. No, yes, they no, are. No, they're not, Skip. No, they're not. Go ahead and take this butt cut like a man yeah. and go ahead and get this uh, so, fourth pick in the draft. So you know what's going to happen today in Baltimore. Lose. Lamar is going to try to feature Des Bryant so he can get even with Jerry Jones. Nope. Just watch. Just watch. He will catch five balls for 65 yards. Just the, watch. No, watch this. The Ravens will rush for 200 yards because y'all can't stop the run. That's what everybody does against you guys. Mm. Run the football. Mm. Remember, hold on. If I'm not mistaken, didn't D-Law say that bleep that happened in Cleveland won't happen again, and that Washington just come in there and run you off the field. Well, not like they did at Washington, but they, they ran for a few yards. But that was the only reason they didn't do like Washington, Skip, because they had beat 41-16. to 16. Mm. If you keep the game close, Arizona. And by the way, the guy who kills us is Antonio Gibson, and somehow he got hurt last night and wasn't even contributing to what happened at Pittsburgh. How do you figure that? All by I the know. way, we stopped Pittsburgh's run because oh. they, they can't run on anybody. But we did. First of all, Skip, Pittsburgh can't run, and that I was said, I, they I can't said, run. Period. We held them to like forty-six yards. Well, that's rushing. not saying anything because they can't run. And plus, another thing, they drop far too many passes. Now you talk about a quarterback that's being their receivers drop everything he throws to them. Yeah, but that's You're okay. Right. I, that's not my concern. As long as y'all catch this L tonight, that'll put y'all at three and nine with four games to play. Mm. It'd be over. I would take. Eight and a half points. No, you're going to take nothing. You're going to bet this case Eight and a half. Do, you would do it. Hold on. At the top of the show, Jenny, you remember? Oh, he was yeah. doing all this talking. I might bet oh, you. I, I, I might. Remember. Oh, you would over there just. I will. Eight and a half. No, right here, right no, now. No, no, no. Straight up. <laughs> I'm going to be true to my school, my Cowboys. You bet. You got to yep. do. We got a case to do. Mm-hmm. I got eight and a half. No, you ain't got no eight and a half. Oh, come on. Tell your mouth where your mouth is. You they're finished. Yeah. You got the Cowboys. You got C.D. Lamb. You got Amari Cooper. You got Michael Gallup. I got Terrence Steele and Brandon Knight. You ever heard of them? They're oh, my tackles Oh, oh, tonight. and you got Andy Dalton. Andy Dalton's a good okay. quarterback. Mm. Uh, I, I'm, no I'm very guts. intrigued no how guts. this one's going to wrap exactly. up. Exactly. That's what no I'm saying. <laughs> Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show. And be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed. Or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.